Has the latest Switch system update ruined Atmosphere custom firmware for you? No need to panic. Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video I'll be showing you how to update Atmosphere custom firmware when a system update breaks it. Here's a few disclaimers and things to take note of. I can't provide you with certain links in this tutorial. However, I can still show you where to go. In this tutorial and in all of my other tutorials, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections. You can still follow along if you're using another OS, but some steps may be different. Next, of course, you'll need your modded switch running Atmosphere custom firmware and a way to access your SD card. I've covered USB file transfer in other videos, but you won't be able to use that here. You'll need an SD card slot in your computer or a USB SD card reader. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed that most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community, or if you need help with mod stuff. Now, let's get started. Hold the switch power button, tap power options, and turn off. Eject your SD card and connect it to your computer. On Google, search up Atmosphere Custom Firmware and click here. Releases Atmosphere NX Atmosphere. At the time of recording, the latest Switch system update to come out is version 18.0.0. This update broke Atmosphere Custom Firmware and a few other sys modules. Typically, small updates won't break Atmosphere. For example, say Nintendo released a version 18.0.1 update, you would still be able to use the Atmosphere version for 18.0.0. However, if Nintendo released an 18.1.0 update or a version 19 update, you would need to update Atmosphere. Hopefully that makes sense. I recommend bookmarking this GitHub page so you can stay on top of new releases. At the top of the releases page here, you'll see the latest release. At the time of recording, Atmosphere is on version 1.7.0 pre-release. Whenever a new release of Atmosphere or other homebrew or mod software is released, I recommend giving the patch notes a read. As noted here, Atmosphere 1.7.0 is currently in pre-release and issues may be found that need to be fixed before full release. If any bugs are reported while Atmosphere is tagged in pre-release, they will be fixed and the build will be updated. 1.7.0 will transition to release after a short amount of time has passed without pressing bug reports. Basically, if there aren't any bugs reported in using this version, then it'll lose the pre-release tag. Big shout out to SireZem for all the work they put into Atmosphere Custom Firmware and anyone else that is involved. Scroll down, click Assets, and download Atmosphere.zip and Fuse.bin. Open Atmosphere.zip and drag everything inside to the root of your SD card. Remember, the root is the main directory of your SD card. Replace any folders and files when prompted, and you're done! Now go to Tegrar CMGY or your payload injector of choice, select the latest fuse.bin that you downloaded with Atmosphere, and inject it. If your switch is running the latest Atmosphere custom firmware with no error code, great. If you're greeted with an error code, that's easy to fix. Take note of the ID on the error screen. You can write it down or take a photo if you need to. Hold the power to power off your switch, Wait until the screen turns off. There we go. Eject your SD card and connect it to your computer. Go to Atmosphere, Contents. You should see a folder with the name of the ID that was on the error screen. Delete that folder. Major system updates will usually break custom themes and certain sys modules like Mission Control. If that's the case, then you'll have to delete the folder of the outdated installed theme or sys module in the contents folder. Now, grab the latest release of the sys module you just deleted 
if it supports the latest system update. I'll be using Mission Control as an example. If you aren't familiar with Mission Control, I recommend checking it out. It allows you to use Bluetooth controllers from other consoles on your Switch without any USB dongles. It's definitely a must-have for any modded Switch user. I have a video showcasing it in the description and info card. Shout out to NDeadly. Alright, now I've updated Mission Control, entered RCM, injected the payload, and I no longer have an error code. I'm now running Atmosphere Custom Firmware on the latest system update. And that is all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members, thank you so much for your support, and thank you for your support in watching till the end. On the left you'll see a playlist for Switch Mod tutorials, and on the right, a video from my channel that YouTube recommends for you. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya!